Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'll show you what I think is the cheapest 3 nanometer dual narrowband filter available on the market. The manufacturer of this filter claims that it is a true 3 nanometer dual band pass and the filter sells for just around 240 US dollars. Is it a really 3 nanometer band pass filter? What about halo surround bright stars and imagers and where can you get one if you're interested? Let's jump into the video where I will cover all these questions in details. The name of this filter is called Scorpio and as I understand it is exactly the same manufacturer that created a Gemini electronic focuser. At the moment, uh, talking about the filter, there is only a 2-inch version available and pretty much the filter looks as any different 2-inch filter. Now let's take a look at the spectra this filter gives us. Unfortunately, I do not have a professional grade spectrometer to provide a detailed spectral curve or show the exact transmittance in each bandpass. But using a simple prism-based spectrometer, I created the following picture. At the very top you can see the spectrum of visible light captured from a bulb. This serves as our reference point showing the full range of wavelengths from blue to red. Notice how the spectrum is continuous with no interruptions across the colors. Now moving down to Optolong L Pro filter, where as you can see it narrows down the spectrum a bit by reducing some of the green, yellow and orange wavelengths. And this is the broadband filter, so it only cuts down some of the uh, light pollution. And on the bottom here we got three different dual narrowband filters. The first one is ZWO that has pretty wide but still narrow band passes for hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3. Uh, down there is SV Bonnie SV220 filter which is 7 nanometer band pass. And the other one is the filter of our interest which is a 3 nanometer as the seller claims Scorpio filter. So what we can see here is that hydrogen alpha and oxygen 3 regions they uh, well defined with no kind of spillover into neighbor wavelets. And one important detail to note here is how the Scorpio filter visually compares to the SV Bonnie filter. It appears that the Scorpio filter can be more narrow compared to SV Bonnie filter. While this comparison isn't professionally calibrated, it still provides a good visual idea of how Scorpio filter performs compared to other filters, and in particular SV Bonnie SV220 filter. If you're interested in kind of more detailed look let me know in the comment section below and uh, we'll see what we can do but basically the only person in my opinion that can give us a really detailed and good look at the spectrum of the filter is the quiver the lazy geek so tag his profile in the comment section below so maybe he can take a look at this filter himself and maybe he can give us a better look at the spectrum of this filter now let's talk about a real world imaging performance as you can see we in pixel inside and i got two different targets to compare. The first three images, those are images of the horse head nebula captured using different filters. I had exactly the same telescope used, which is Skywatcher 80D, same camera as WO 2600MC Pro, but different filters. And um, images with the ZWO dual narrowband filter and SV Bonnie filter, those were captured a year before I got this image with the Scorpio filter, so yeah, it's not the same night, but what I want to pay attention to here, guys, is uh, halos around bright stars, and in particular, a star called Alnitag. So, this is the image captured with the Scorpio 3 nanometer filter. Yep, we have a halo around Alnitag. However, it is not as prominent as, for example, halo captured with the SV Bonnie filter. So the image on the left is 3 nanometer Scorpio filter, and the image on the right is a 7 nanometer SV to 20 filter from SV Bonnie. As you can see, this halo is much more prominent, especially the edges of the halo they much brighter compared to the image taken with the Scorpio filter. And uh, just as a comparison, let's take a closer look at a ZWO image. Uh, of course, we have a bit less halo, but the band passes, they more white with the ZWO filter compared to Scorpio filter. So I think we can even close this one. So yeah, this is how halos look around Alnitag for the Horus Head Nebula. And just briefly, let's take a look at NGC 1499 image. I got with SV Bonnie filter and I got with Scorpio filter. So here is a closer look at this star. And uh, same idea kind of here. So this all, I hope you can see it uh, through the YouTube and uh, just put the resolution guys at its highest. But yeah, we can see a bright halo around this star on NGC 1499 
image taken with SV220 filter, and yep, there is still Halo with the Scorpio filter, however, it is not that prominent, it's more like diffused compared to SV20 filter. So, yep, that's what I want to show you guys as just a quick look and comparison of Scorpio 3 nanometer filter to the closest one I have at the moment, which is SV20 SV20 filter. And if you want to take a look at the comparison of Scorpio filter to, let's say, Optolong L Ultimate filter, just let me know in the comment section below. If you're interested in getting this filter, the only place where you can find it is AliExpress and here is the page of the filter where I purchased it. So as you can see, we got three different versions of this filter. The one that I got is 2 inch 3 nanometer version. Uh, there is also a new version called Golden HO, which is, I understand, has much better performance with Halos. And also they sell 2 inch 5 nanometer version of this dual narrowband filter. So as you can see all these options, they sold out at the moment of filming this video, but pretty much here we got uh, the description, uh, the seller, they also provide us with uh, different graphs for each filter they sell. Like I believe that these graphs, uh, they just want the random filters that uh, they got for the test. I don't know if each filter, like for example, a particular of my filter has exactly the same specs as the one uh, that are shown here but pretty much that's what I want to show you guys. So yeah, the moment they sell 2 inch 3 nanometer version for 240 US dollars, uh, golden version is the same and 5 nanometer version is a bit lower in price. <laughs> but yeah, all these filters, they sold out at the moment. I don't know if they're getting back in stock, but yeah, the only place where you can get this filter for a moment is AliExpress. Finally, I want to mention that Scorpio as a brand, they also have different filters like uh, LRGB filters or SHO filters for monochrome cameras. And also on the Facebook, they got this group. I don't know why it's private, but there are only nine members, including me at the moment, where if you're interested, you can check out some test images made by, I guess, different uh, Scorpio filter users. Uh, they're also like images captured with SHO filters made by Scorpio or RGB filters. So I also am gonna leave the link to this Facebook group in the description. And if you're interested in checking it out, go ahead and do that. All right, guys, that was a first look at a new Scorpio 3 nanometer dual band pass filter. Let me know what you think about it and the sample images I captured in the comment section below. If you're interested in checking out more details, I've included a link to the filter where I personally purchased it. And the same seller also sells a golden version of the filter. And I recently received this golden version. So pretty much the filter that I showed you and I've been showing you for the whole video is this uh, Scorpio golden version 3 nanometer filter. And the original filter was installed in this filter wheel. So pretty much I believe it looks exactly the same, but performance of this filter has to be different. And as manufacturer says that uh, the halo performance in this golden version has to be improved. So guys, it's going to be a follow-up video where I will install this filter in the filter wheel and compare its performance to the original Scorpio version filter. So if you're interested in checking out this follow-up video, please consider subscribing to the channel and stay tuned for this video. But if you enjoyed watching the current video about the Scorpio filter, then please consider giving the video a like. Also leave a supportive comment in the comment section down below. What I want to do is to show you my final image of the horse head nebula I captured using this Scorpio dual narrowband filter. I really hope that you will enjoy this image as I was enjoying taking it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video till the end. Really hope to see you at the next one. And until next time, clear skies guys. guys.